Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea here and today I really just wanted to sit down, turn the camera on, put on some makeup, and try some products I haven't really shown on my channel. So that's what we're doing today. It's really laid back, really kind of carefree, but I wanted to film today and I realized that there have been some new items that I've picked up recently that I haven't really shown officially on my channel or maybe I've only shown them one time. So. I figured that's what we do today. Really chill, laid back, get ready with me with some newish makeup. But before we get into this video, I just wanna say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and be a part of our little family over here. And if you're a returning subscriber, well, thank you so much for coming back and deciding to support my channel. It really does mean a lot to me and I really do appreciate each and every one of you. So let's get into this video. First, I have to start off with moisturizing my lips. My lips feel so chapped right now. But before I can moisturize my lips, I have to show you my first new product. So it was the last day of the Sephora spring sale and I kept putting this product in my cart, <laughs> out of my cart, in my cart, out of my cart. And I finally got it and I'm so happy I did. So it is the Sephora Favorites Poolside Party Summer Beauty Essentials Kit. This is just so cute and I really, really wanted it. And I'm laughing because I, I mean, y'all don't know how much I kept putting it in my cart, taking it out. I don't need that. Uh, do I really want it? And I really decided I do really want it and I'm glad I got it. So first of all, I really actually like this pouch that I came with. So it's a nice kind of, um, what is this? Rubber, what, what material is this? Like silicone, it's not silicone. Do y'all know what I'm trying to say? Cause I can't find the words. But you have this really nice pouch. So we're just gonna leave it at that that um, it's got a little palm tree here. And I was really excited about this because of the products that were in it. So number one, it comes with a full size of one of the Sephora Collections lipsticks. And then we have a full size of the, the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes Mascara. Nothing new to the market, but it's in here. And then we get a travel size of the Way Wave Spray, hairspray. And then we get many sizes of the Patrick Ta Major Glow Body Oil. Then we get a deluxe sample of the Super Goop Sunscreen, a very, very deluxe sample of the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream, the Sugar Rose or the Fresh Sugar Rose Lip Balm, and then um, a deluxe sample of a Jouer highlighter in Skitty Dip. And let me just say, the majority of these items, I have either have wanted to try them or I have tried them and I really like them. So that's why I kept going back and forth because I'm like, I know I wanna try these. I know I either like them, but I don't need it, but I got it and I'm glad I did. So first I'm gonna moisturize my lips with this Fresh Sugar Rose Tinted Lip Treatment and let's have a little story time. So it was uh, 2009, I was in New York City for my bachelorette party and I went to a fresh store and I brought this lip balm and I remember my line sisters were like, are you really gonna spend $25 on a lip balm? And I was like, am I? And I said, yeah, I am. I should have known then I was gonna be into more expensive makeup. But I remember like, putting it on and being like, oh, this just made me, it made me feel so special. It made me feel like expensive because at the time I had never spent that much money on any type of like cosmetic purchase. And I don't know, it just, the whole experience was so like exclusive and like, I just felt special. And it was my bachelorette weekend. And I was just like, oh. so this, this, this particular item will always have a place in my heart, but I love how like moisturizing it is on the lips. And I don't know, it's like every time I see this, I'm like, I wanna get one. And I think it's because of the memory I have attached to it, so nostalgic. So that's what we're putting on, now my lips feel moisturized. Okay, next, I was really excited about this Super Goop sunscreen because I've heard some really good things about it. And I ran out of my sunscreen and I've been without sunscreen for like huh, a month and a half, two months. I know, don't kill me, I already know. I already know I've been wrong. For that so um i was like cool let me try this i've heard really good things about it it's a silicone type of sunscreen and i want to say that i have tried this particular one before um but it definitely feels like your traditional silicone primer um so i'm gonna put this on i know wayne gosh just raved about this as one of his like holy grail products and he was saying that from his experience 
he can use this as like a primer because it has that silicone base to it. But I've also heard this is really, it wears really good under makeup. So I am very excited to try this. Went on very smoothly. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you updated on how I like it. Now let's go in with foundation. So I have shown this on my channel, did a review for it, and I'll link it for you right here. This is the Armani Beauty Neo Nude Foundation. I have mine in the shade 8.75. And so I'm using this again today because I haven't used it. I think I've used it twice since I've purchased it. And I keep forgetting to use it with my hands or blend it in with my hands every time I use it. So that's what I want to do today. So I am not liking how that was blending out <laughs> with my hands. I typically don't like to use my hands when I'm applying foundation. So I'm just gonna switch to a brush now. I don't know if I was maybe using too much or if the foundation didn't like the sunscreen I applied or if maybe I applied the sunscreen or the foundation too soon after the sunscreen. I don't know, but it felt like it wasn't even blending into my skin. Like I felt like I was just moving the product around, but it wasn't blending. I'll probably stick with a brush because that's how I like to apply my foundations anyway. So yeah. Moving along. Guess what today is, y'all? Today, as I'm filming this, it's Wednesday, May the 6th, and it is my four-year anniversary on YouTube. I started my channel four years ago today. Kinda neat, right? I remember the first video I made, and I remember thinking like, no one's gonna watch me. But I'm gonna just go ahead on and film this because I really want to do it and give it a try. <sighs> wow, kind of makes me want to get emotional and I'm not, I'm not crying to get on YouTube, not doing that. Okay, moving on, but I'm really excited that I'm here. Thank you guys for allowing me to be here and now I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Moving on to a concealer. So this is the Dior Forever Skin Concealer. I'm wearing the shade 3W. I think I tried this on my channel, but I, I think I've literally owned it one, worn it one time because I can't stop using the Kosas Concealer. So I wanted to give it another go. The one time that I did wear it, I really did like it. So that's that. That's what we're putting on today. Did y'all see that Dior is coming out with a new foundation? Are you excited about it? Cause I am. I I never tried the Dior Forever foundation. Should I try that? Like the the one that came out, I wanna say it came out last year or the year before last. I never tried that one, but I am gonna be trying this new one. Now to another new liquid illuminator. So this is the Becca Ignite Liquefied Light Highlighter. I have mine in the shade Creativity. And I think y'all know by now, I love me a good liquid illuminator. So this is what the shade looks like on my hand. And it is marketed as a shade or it is marketed as a highlighter that you can use for face and body. I did talk about this in a recent live that I did. I think it was last Saturday when I was talking about a PR that I've received recently. And I think this works really well on the body because it's got a really nice consistency to it that will like stick to the body and allow the shimmer to stay. And when I say shimmer, there's no glitter particles in this, but there's a nice luminescence and like radiance from it. But it also works pretty nice on the face. So you need just the smallest amount because as you all saw, with that little bit that I had squirted onto my hand, you get a really good amount of product from it. So I'm gonna take this much that I have on my finger and just apply it to the face. And I wanted to show you all what it looked like on the skin, cause it's really pretty on the skin. I'm gonna go in with my Refer P09 brush. It's one of those highlighters that you can um, apply underneath your, you can apply onto the skin and put your foundation over top because, um, have I done that yet? I think I've done that before. Um, or you can apply it on top of your foundation. And I find that the best way to apply it is probably with a dense brush like this. This is the Morphe E8 brush. The Rever P09 brush, it's one of my favorite highlighting brushes, but it can move the product around depending on the product. This is one of those products that it does move my base around a bit. So using a dense brush like this to kind of stamp in the product allows for my foundation to stay in place, um, but then also to blend it out. So I will blend it out on this side with this brush. 
This is scented. It smells like vanilla. Yeah, like like a like it has maybe a vanilla base to it. it. Smells pretty good in my opinion. But if you don't like scented products, you're not gonna like this. Or if you don't like fragrance within your products, you're not gonna like this. Um, but I think this gives like a really pretty nice glow to the cheeks. I'm gonna set my face and then we can go on to the next part of the video. I'm gonna set my T-zone with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade Medium. And then I'll set the rest of my face with the Range Beauty Smooth Out Translucent Setting Powder in the shade Golden Light. Be right back. Next, we're gonna go in with the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer in the shade Medium Brunettes. And I think I've only used this bronzer once since I've gotten it, so I wanted to use it again. I really did enjoy it that one time I used it. Um, I love the color of this bronzer and it smells really good. Okay, on to blush. Going in with the Private Society Secret Admirers Blush Palette. And this is what the palette looks like on the inside. So many pretty colors. And I feel like I haven't had a chance to really show it as much love as I want to. So let's start off with this shade called Sweet Romance right here. Because I do know I'm going in with a red lip. That's how we're going to end this video. So I need to keep the blush pretty neutral. And the eye looks going to be pretty neutral today too. Oh, this might be the only blush I need. For highlight, we're going in with the Jouer Highlighter in Skinny Dip. So this is what the highlighter looks like. It's a cute little thing, but I feel like you get a decent amount of product in it. I'll give you a quick little swatch. This is what the shade looks like on the back of my hand. Looks very pretty. Let's go in with this Refer 19 brush to apply the highlight. Ooh. Whoa, okay. I was not expecting this pigmentation. Well, okay. We'll tone this down. Don't you worry. That was pretty. I was not expecting that much pigment though. Um, okay. I'm just gonna go in with my powder brush to initially tone that down. So recently I ordered a new eyeshadow palette and it is from Scott Barnes. So this is a Scott Barnes Natural Palette Volume 1. This is what the outer packaging looks like. And then this is what the palette looks like on the inside. And when I saw this, I was like, you know what? This looks like an eyeshadow palette. I probably have it home. But then I saw it again and I was like, but this looks like a palette that I want to try. So I've been, I've always wanted to try something from the brand. And I figured this is a good start. So I'm going to just bring y'all in a little closer. We're going to do a little simple eye look, nothing too fancy, and then we'll keep moving. So I primed my eyes with my concealer, and we're going to go in first with, with Biscay right here. Going in with my Sonya G Blender Pro Brush, blending that into the eye. Then going in with my Sonya G Worker Pro Brush, let's go into the shade called Woody right here. Lay it right here on the edge of the eye. Then let's go in with this shimmer shade called Brazen using the same Worker Pro Brush and we're just gonna apply this onto the lid and then let's go in with this shade called laced this is a shimmer shade and let's apply that with our refer 02 brush i'm just going to put that in this inner corner where in the space where we don't have any other eyeshadow. Let's go in with the shade called Brick House right here. And going in with a Sonia Kashuk blending brush. Start to blend that along the lower lash line. Ever so slightly. And then going back in with the brown shade Woody and just further blending it out on the lower lash line. Then going in with the shade called Hollywood, 
my no name brush in a corner of my eye. And then lastly, going in with the shade called Angelic right here, applying that to the inner corner. Cause I kinda wanna, I went in with that shade Angelic put it in the inner corner and since it has like a pink shift I topped it with the shade lace the one that we have on the inner corner to kind of tone it down but then it still offers some type of like lighter inner corner eye so I'm going to do my brows come back so we can finish off the eyes before I zoom you back out I'm going to try on the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes mascara and I feel like I've tried this like years ago but I I actually I know I've tried this, but I don't remember how I liked it, how it wore. So let's just put it on. So here is what the wand looks like if there's if you've never seen it before. Um, and I'm just gonna apply it to my lashes. No primer added. I typically add a primer, a lash primer, before I put on mascara, but I just wanted to see what this would do in and on its own. Okay, so this is what one eye looks like with mascara one eye without and I will say I liked how it uh, lengthened my lashes um, I think it did a nice job doing that but it's not a mascara that I'm like crazy about I can already tell it's okay it's okay all right so let me finish up this and we'll get back to the rest of the video okay so I thought I was recording and I wasn't okay so we're here <laughs> The only thing that I didn't record was me putting on this new Pat McGrath lipstick. It's not new, but it's new to me. This is in the shade um, Forbidden Love 049. This is the matte transformula. And ooh, is this red not scrumptious. It is so, so pretty. So I purchased this red recently because I was, I was watching Mother Pat and I think it was Naomi Campbell. And she was, it was either her or Jackie Ina she was talking to. And she was talking about how she created the Matte Trans Formula and specifically her red lipstick. And so she was doing a show and the designer said, I want all of the models to have a red lip. And she had like three minutes to put this red lipstick on them and then get them out onto the runway. And so she's like, you know, I needed a red, I needed a formula that with one swipe, I'm getting full pigment so I could literally run through, you know, as many models as possible. And so she's like, you know, from count from countless scenarios like that where she needed, you know, products that will perform quickly, but with full pigment, one of those products that was created by her was her matte trans formula and this red lip and i i'm here for it Oof, i'm here for it i love the matte trans formula i love the luxe trans formula i just i like all of her lipstick formulas but i really like this because it's a it is a matte formula but it's not overly drying but i love that i put this on i have not blotted i haven't like you know, taking off the excess of the lipstick, but it's not shedding on my teeth. Like I hate that. And it feels very comfortable. So even though it's matte, it's not drying matte and it doesn't look crusty matte either. This matte trans formula is beautiful and I love it. I also put on the Patrick Ta body oil. So I'll put it on again. So this is what it looks like on my skin. I've had it on now for maybe like five minutes. So you get this nice glow. Um, I'll put a little bit more on so you can see what it looks like coming straight out of the container. So I like that when you spray it, it doesn't run. Like the formula is not a runny formula. And you can see the shimmer of the body oil when you first spray it. When you blend it out, the shimmer is definitely barely there. Like barely there. Um, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing because there's some people who like more of a glow versus like shimmer so i've blended it in into my hand and it definitely looks very glowy on my hand um it is a dry oil so it does absorb into the skin pretty quickly and if you look at my hand you see pretty much no shimmer um which i'm not gonna lie i definitely want more shimmer but as I'm looking at my hand and as the oil is drying, I see more of the shimmer. So maybe this is a formula that the oil does need to absorb into the skin and then you can see more of the shimmer on top. I'm gonna play around with this more. Definitely gonna shoot you all a video as well comparing this to some other body oils that I have and you know, just tell you my preferences and what I like and things like that. Um, not gonna try the Bum Bum Cream because I know I, I know I love it, but this smell is like, it's the beach 
so great. This whey wave spray, it, it is made with rice protein instead of sea salt, so it is safe for color-treated hair or keratin-treated hair, and it's going to create beachy waves, enhance texture, and builds body, and give hair memory and shine. So I will try this at another time, not today, but I will try it, give you all my thoughts. I did set my face with the Hourglass Veil Setting Spray, and I have really been enjoying this. I love this, like, I love how it just meshes all of my makeup together. It is so beautiful and it sits really nice onto the skin and I feel like it just like makes everything look nice and uniform. Um, like that highlight that I put on, it was a little staunch, like now it looks more blended into the skin. It's just beautiful. I really have been enjoying the Hourglass Spray. It's gorgeous. Um, and this Scott Barnes Natural Palette, I really like it. So this is my second time using it. I love the eye look that I created. The mattes in this eyeshadow palette, in my opinion, really do blend out really well. And the shimmers are gorgeous. Like I did not wet my brush. I'm getting full blown shimmer pigment payoff. And I think it's beautiful. I really have been enjoying this. Everything I tried today, I thoroughly enjoyed. The Jouer highlighter, I really like it. Now I know, don't go in with the heavy hand. Um, Definitely still loving this Giorgio Armani Neo Nude Foundation. Um, and the Dior Concealer, I really, I really do like it. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this more laid back kind of get ready with me, with me just trying on products that I just wanted to share with you all. And happy YouTube anniversary to me. I'm so excited to still be here. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.